And welcome back. This is Coke Town for another War Rights event. Hope you all having a good weekend so far. It is Saturday and we have a United the European Community event. It is two servers. This is server one. Current pop is 171, 87 on the attacking CSA versus 84 on the defending union on Pry House. And let's take a look at the teams. So with the CSA, looks like we got Jeff Davis battery under Lieutenant Fork with one gun. We then have looks like 20th Georgia along with two core. Then we have the Home Guard, the 2 USC, there is no fucking way the 1st VA, the 3rd Alabama under Williamson, and 4th Georgia. Let's see the other commanders here. We've got Dorr leading the 4th Georgia, Jumbo leading the 20th, 1st VA is under Johnson, and Sluggy is leading the 2 USC. Let's check out the Union. I'll start out with their arty. Looks like we've got one crew here under the BA bat under Mr. Henry Perkins. Right, and then let's see, we've got the 52nd New York, the 4th New Jersey, the 8th Florida. Looks like there's some 13th Georgia folks in there mixed in as well. The 6th Texas, and the 56th Virginia joined by some AGL folks. So. Let's see, then for commanders, we've got Rousseau leading the 6th Texas, John Beck leading the 52nd, Fritz is leading the 8th Florida, and Slaughter is leading the 56th. Looks like Empling is in charge of 52nd. And I believe that is it. Looks like Pixel is leading the 4th New Jersey. Uh, maybe O'Keefe is leading the 52nd. I am not positive. Is somebody up here leading the 52nd? Oh, John Beck is leading the 52nd. All right. All right, so we are live here at 40 on this Pry House. Here we go. Let's see where the CSA goes and where the Union tries to defend on this map. So far, it looks like the CSA is heading towards the corn onto their right. We'll see if anybody makes a turn towards the center. Okay, it looks like 20th Jumbo is going to start moving his men to the center. Well, you've got Mr. Sluggy and the Home Guard going out that direction to the east, northeast. So like Johnson's going to join him. Servers are weird today. See if they work. Well, we'll see. Out here for the Union right here, looks like we got 52nd as kind of a flank guard here. Um, then you've got 56 in the center, also with 4th New Jersey, and then on the left here we got 6 Texas and 8th Florida. That is a lot of guys you just killed. By the way, I do the flag thing so it helps me see how many get killed. You can see uh, poor Lieutenant Johnson uh, got caught out there by a volley from the 8th Florida. No, the flags don't look as cinematic, but it helps me tell because I am a bit blind how many guys are getting killed. <laughs> All right, so, so far not too much movement there. Now here comes Williamson with the third Alabama. We will see where they choose to uh, maneuver up. God, 20th has moved up quite far here. Company about check, sir. Check. Take aim. Check. Take aim. Make him count, folks. Fire! Load. Hello. Nice little exchange of fire there. Pretty static right now, though. Uh, here we got Fort Georgia kind of fighting with the 52nd. Up the fire. Close the gaps. So far, a very deliberate battle. It's uh, I think it's really going in favor of the Union. But now we've got. We'll see if this changes it up. A very aggressive move here by Williamson. 
Who is he going to target here? He is going to target. Oh, man. Oh, man. He's going to hit the six Texas pretty dang hard here. And that is it for the six Texas. With that one attack, they are done. Let's see, he's going to transition to the side here and put pressure on these guys. Uh, so a very aggressive move here by Williamson. We'll see if it can work here, if he can uh, continue to uh, put pressure. I think he needs more CSA to move up and help him. And in fact, that is what Jumbo is doing to provide him at least some additional support up here. This could be devastating here. Fire! Reload! Reload. There it goes. Counterattack time. 56 has had to fall off. And not only 3rd Alabama and 20th are kind of the main elements up here. I would say these guys back here, the uh, 2 USC and 1st VA, need to do something to restrain or try to move up on 8th Florida. Keep them from maneuvering on 3rd Alabama. If they just let Fritz get out in the open here, that could create some problems for Williamson. We'll see if they move up. So far they have not. Right face. On the opposite side, I'd say same thing with this group over here. Reload! Reload! Fort Georgia needs to move up and restrain and maybe Dress flank the, right. the 52nd over here, or else 3rd Alabama is going to be in a lot of trouble. So These guys have made a bold move, but unless they get additional support from the CSA, and indeed, here we go. They have indeed moved up, as I was hoping to see from that element. So again, they need more help, though, if this is going to be an effective hold. Now the CSA has capped early, which I very much support. Got Henry Perkins has brought this cannon up to try to bring up some more direct fire. Yeah, the only criticism I have right now for the CSA is I think uh, Fourth Georgia needs to move up a little bit more and put more pressure on these elements here. But as long as these guys are firing at them and not at this angle here, it's it's okay. But this already piece, I would very much want to silence if I could. I'm not quite sure where they're aimed at. I mean, it kind of bounced up on this tree here and landed here. Did a little bit of damage, but not as much as it could have. And you see, right now, 3rd Alabama is taking a lot of heat. And they are not going to be able to hold. They're going to have to fall back. That's what I was a little bit concerned about. Now, it, Sluggy is going to move up to support him, which is good. We'll see if that'll be enough. I'd say, again, First VA needs to move up as well now, continue the pressure. And if you could clear these guys off and keep this cannon clear, that, that would be my objective right now, is to secure this position over here for the CSA. For the Union team, I think 50 Seconds is doing a great job of keeping the Fort Georgia bottled up there. And they got a cannon over here. If the cannon wastes time shooting these guys in this formation, I think that'd be good as well. We'll see if they fall for it. Fourth is going to fall back. Interesting. Or just the fourth New Jersey, I guess maybe to uh, give some support to the Yardie and leave this job at the 52nd, which again, uh, Beck is doing a good job of keeping them busy here. So now 3rd Alabama has to fall back here, but now you can see this 20th Georgia is going to start taking a lot of pressure. And you're going to have a bit of a cascading effect. Yeah, they come back now too. If the pressure eases for you, you've got to move up. See now, Johnson's moving his guys over here. Sluggy's rotating out. Maybe we should join him. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why you guys are just exchanging positions like that. But, um, yeah, you want to, I would say, move up here as best you can and put pressure on this center force. 
from the flank. If it gets too hot, move out. But this is this is going to be the key position right here. Yeah, you can't let these mass formations move up on you. All right, so now you see four charges moving up. And this, I think, is a good move. But it might have been too late because the center already got, you know, swallowed up a bit. Pull back, Park Georgia, let's go. Yeah, they're going to have to pull back. They can't hold that position. Third Alabama moves up, but it's it, they're going to get... I don't know about this. We'll see if it works. I think they're a little bit overexposed right now. Again, you got this element out here slugging these guys a little bit too far back. Need to be able to give support to Third Alabama if they're going to make a move like that. For the Union team, I would focus your fire. That's the key here. And you can eliminate the 3rd Alabama by eliminate. Take out their flag and just start rolling up enough to recap. That's what you want to do. You actually don't want to kill the enemy in this position here. What you want to do is recap the point with them as high as possible so you regain as much uh, tickets as possible. Again, this is a little bit counterintuitive, and I see a lot of teams not realizing this. But right now, you're actually hurting yourself by just killing the enemy without recovering uh, the point. All you're doing is making it harder for yourself. But you won't get the, uh, the regeneration of the tickets when you recap the point. I'm rear rank, brother. Yeah. So right now, this the union I think is making a big mistake. If you're not moving to recap here and you're just slugging it out, you're just hurting yourself. You're not actually doing anything. You're literally killing your own men because these are less men that you're going to get back. So this shootout, unless it's in service of taking the point, which it doesn't look like it is, ooh, that's going to blow up here. Close a fuse on it. No? Okay. So maybe it was an extended fuse, but it's not. Oh, a couple good hits against the 52nd there. Right, spread these shots, boys. That those little fuckers spread out. They're hitting us from the left side on the bomb field. We're not, we're not charging. See there, you've succeeded in knocking out the third Alabama's flag. But now, so you've got an advantage, you got to take advantage of it. If you just sit here and let third Alabama come back in, you know, you, you've undone whatever advantage you had. You create an advantage, you got to take advantage of it. You can't just be like, oh, well, I did something good. Did you do anything yet? No. I think it's a. Uh, said uh, I think it's attributed to, but I don't think I, who knows if it's extra true. It's. Criticism of Hannibal, you know, one of his generals, like, you know how to win a victory, but you don't know how to use it. You're doing well, you're doing well, fellas. Keep it up. Keep it up. VA, right dress to both. Johnson, step up. We've got a forward movement here by 3rd Alabama. They're getting caught out here. But they are going to try to recover their flag, but I don't think they're going to be able to. Slaughter's not going to let them. But sending one, two guys out to get by, shot by Slaughter is pretty pointless. It's so like Fritz is moving forward a bit. Is he going to try to recap here? It looks like he's going in for the recap. Oh, 
Georgia. Oh, nice awareness here by the Fort Georgia, kind of catching the uh, Eighth Florida in the flank here. Some very good awareness there by Mr. Dora. And C6 Texas went in as well to support the Union team, though. So first, yeah, well, this element here needs to do what uh, Fort Georgia did and turn on these guys, which, okay, now they are. And you need to squeeze this. There we go. Nice. There we go. Oh, and a nice counter charge, too, by Fort Georgia. Again, very good awareness. I was a little bit critical of them before here. But um, right now, I am very... Uh, I think they're doing a lot of good moves here now. Kind of making up for some, I think, that hesitancy that they had earlier. Now, there is a price to be paid here. You know, 50 seconds now on your flank, but um, I, I think that's a price worth paying to make sure you maintain that centerpiece. Again, these guys out here, Sluggy and, and First VA, Johnson, I'd say, need to do a little bit more support. But, actually, well, you know, right now it's fine. Um, you know, they, they got decent shots. As long as you're getting good shooting in, it's okay. But uh, you do want to be in a position to be able to support the center if it gets threatened. Let's take a look here. This counter battery shot there. Yeah, independent fire. Yeah. By the way, if you were new and you just wandered into this video, this game is called War of Rights. It is a Civil War first-person shooter. Everybody you see here is an individual player. Um, it is available on Steam for 30 US dollars. There's a link in the description to both the website and the uh, Discord for the, uh, the game. And this event is a private event. It is called the uh, United European Community Event. It is hosted every Friday and Saturday at... <laughs> Excuse me, 8 p.m. GMT. If you're interested in signing your unit up for it, there is a link in the description as well to the uh, event Discord for its organization. The event is focused on um, a historical uh, gameplay, so there's a lot of additional rules to uh, make the you know make the game much more uh, line battle like, uh, focusing on more historical gameplay. Um, it is very much uh, a monitored and uh, curated experience. So um, that is, as you guys can see, they all form up at double ranks. Um, there's restrictions on how many people are on a cannon, stuff like that. So if you see that and you're like, hey, that could be fun, um, again, take a look at the events. And uh, if it sounds like fun, sign your unit up for it. So here we are at seven minutes remaining on this counterattack. Union is halfway down engaged, CSA a little bit above engaged. But again, keep in mind this whole time so that you haven't done an attack. You've, even if you recap now, you will only gain what the CSA is at. And the CSA is going to lose more, you know, losing this point. So you might end up, even if you retake this point, you know, you might end up at, at best maybe halfway through engaged at 36 minutes, which is not ideal. So the cannon will be uh, shooting at us in a minute. Pick up the flag. Somebody left face, double quick. Relax. We got a forward movement here by this union team. Fast left. March. Left face. Left face. Left face. Left face. Fire at will. Get your loads first. They need to get on it. I think, again, the Union's taking a lot of time here to try to get a push organized on this point. And it, I think it's going to um, it's gonna come to bite them. Take aim. Down the road. Aim low, boys. Aim at their knees. Fire. Oh, we got a nice forward movement here by the Fort Georgia clearing off the 52nd. And I think that gives him a great opportunity to hit that cannon. Is Mr. Fuji. 
the Port Georgia. By the way, there's a link in the description to all these units. Um, so if you see a unit that sounds like fun, like the Port Georgia, for example, um, there is a link in the description to their Discord, so you can sign up with them and get access to all these events that they participate in. And of course, if you like this channel too, you know, if you want to see more videos, yeah, you know what to do. You've been on YouTube more than a minute. Or if this is your first YouTube video, then welcome. But um, if not, you know, like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. Especially you guys from the units that are watching the videos, if you guys find it helpful. Uh, always appreciate any likes, subscribes, um, you know, comments, shares, all that fun stuff. Help the you know channel grow. Get more exposure to the event your units do, you know. As Mr. Jehovah says, we all grow together. And Slaughter is going to attempt to charge out the first VA here. And I think he will succeed, but we'll see. He's going to run at the Sluggy right behind him. And Sluggy is going to come up to support here. And I think that will allow them, even though the first VA got wiped out, that will let them come up and retake that flag here. Now, while that was going on, there was a secondary assault into the center position here. Now, you see, first, uh, first VA, uh, 2 USC has a great shot against 8th uh, Florida. And they have not been able to take the point back. Um, they are still stuck in the shootout here. And that is going to allow the CSA time to get reconstituted and bring up reinforcements like the Fort Georgia here. Oh, that's going to blow them up. Holy shit. Steady! Should we charge like cannon? Um, should you charge right now? I'd say uh, no. I'd say stay right here and uh, wait for reinforcements to clean off these guys. So if I was you, I would stay right here. Um, I might have some guys turn around and shoot the arty. Um, but, uh, like, for example, here comes 20 Georgia coming to join the fray. We've only got three minutes remaining here for the CSA to hold for them to win this battle. We've got two USC shooting these poor guys in the back there. Oh, and more targets coming in from the right. Continue shooting at those flanks. It looks like they really want to hang around there. Oh, As Williamson's going to come in with his reinforcements here and try to shore up this position and push off this 8th Florida element. And 8th Florida says counter charge. I think they see an opportunity to maybe try to uh, take this point here. Yeah. Now they're starting to take it. These elements out here need to get back into this fight. Uh, I think first, I think Johnson's making a mistake rotating that far out here. And frankly, I think Sluggy needs to go in for a charge right now to try to shore up the point. Although, if he's playing skirmishers, he might not be able to, so that might be why he's not doing it. I am not positive. But yeah, there's a great opportunity to wipe out the 56 here. Maybe Williamson could do it and hold this point. There's only two minutes remaining. In the meantime, Fort George is trying to hold off against the 6th Texas. Not Fort George, 20th Georgia. See, they're holding on, if just barely. They need additional support. And Johnson's going to come in. I think this will be a key opportunity here for him, in, for him to intercept. Good lord. Can grab some water before the next map. And this might be a big piece of the win here. Johnson's maneuver here to block the 8th floor even for a moment. And let the uh, 20th Georgia, these survivors here, get recentered. So even though Johnson had to sacrifice himself there, I think that was key. All right, now Sluggy's moved his guys up. Again, put in some fire, keep them busy. It's only a minute left, they gotta hold on and they win. Oh, 
much as you can hold out, trying to let the reinforcements come up here. Here comes Williamson with more guys coming up. The Union is being way too cautious, though. They have they have needed they have not hit them nearly as hard as I think they needed to. Here comes six Texas again, but it's not combined with anything. It's, it's not it's not concentrated enough. It's not going off with enough power here. But we'll see. They might still be able to do it here. 20 minutes, 20 seconds remaining here. See, Williamson's going to have to go in if he wants to stop it. And I would say Sluggy needs to go in as well. The first VA need to go in as well. Try to hold it. Down to no time left. If the UN CSA can hold this. They win. First VA going in. Uh, you might not have time to reload, mate. All right, there we go. Get off my flag, boy. Now you got Sluggy in position here, cutting off the reinforcements, and that might be the end of it here. And that's the end. CSA took the point, never gave it up. And the Union just didn't have enough of a... Uh, they took way too much time just doing this little shootout nonsense and not pushing the attacks forward. And, uh, you know, just ran out of time. Oh. And, you know, when you're when you're the defender, there's, there's very little point in waiting to recap the points. Unless you're going to try to get them down to final put to uh, last stand as the uh, on the counterattack, there's almost no reason to um, stay there. And wait. Uh, now, unless you're actually going to get ahead on tickets, which you weren't, so. Uh, yeah, there was no point whatsoever in farming tickets like that. You know, unless you were already ahead on on tickets as the uh, defender. Now, if you're behind, you need to counterattack as fast as possible. But, uh, anyway, that's the end for the first map. we got one more to go. I think it's a Westwood, so I'll see you all for that one.